glass. At last the, time, at the Alex cliff lost, next to the friendly octopus. Alex lost octopus. his mind, you guys. <laughs> the friendly Alex, octopus. Alex lost his mind. He thought, you, you tell me, look, there's nothing, there's nothing friendly about that octopus. He is literally eyeing me down. Everywhere I go, his eyes are panning towards me. He's a buddy. He's, n you're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> Keep going. We got to do something. I don't want to fight with an octopus right now, you guys. You want a box, a box to puss? Ugh. Watch Ugh. Hands, clams. Grabby. Whoa. Grabby stuff. I'm gonna kill it. You're gonna kill it? Yep. Cut it. I don't wanna mess up my blade. Ugh. Okay. I don't wanna mess up my blade. That octopus is tracking us. I had no idea their eyesight was so good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's happening? Lego, Lego, Lego! Hey, where are you going? You can't leave me here all alone. Come back no, here. we just sacrificed him. <laughs> She's coming back. Dun 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 dun. What? Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> That's a, uh, you know, if you're a young kid, uh, that's a line from the uh, the second, yes, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yes, it is one you may not have seen because it's generally accepted to be not as good as the first mm -hmm. one. <laughs> I highly disagree with you. <laughs> highly dis. I could teach a seminar. About how great that trilogy is. I would love is. for you to just legitimately do that. If you gave me two and a half hours, Manny? we'll give you the world. Some... Okay, now what do we do? Probably go through that door, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. Gladys, I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So why would Meche be in here? Meche Colomar? Yeah. Because? Because why? That's the kind of girl she is. <gasps> is that her? Manny, what are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs> I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. There you go. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? Oh! If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around if Check it out. Right or wrong, Manuel Calabar Fucking Dom. Always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, <laughs> what does a skeleton need sunglasses for? I don't know. Question of the day. <laughs> what do skeletons yeah, need sunglasses for? Beardbro's homework. Photoshop a skeleton with cool sunglasses make him look cool. Yeah. And I want for your answer to the question of the day, I want like a good pun. My skin was getting all pruny. Him, I don't need. Oh! No! No, Gladys! I'm gonna grind you to powder for that cow, on. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Oh! <gasps> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Bobby Hill. <laughs> it's Bobby Hill. Pamela Adlon. She plays a lot of characters in this game. I'll bite you, I swear to God. She's also the woman uh, who Please Louis is in love with in, on Louis. That's why they put us in huh? the cage in the first place. The girl that Louis is in love with in Louis? Yeah. That's her. Pamela Adlon. Gotcha. Uh, Bobby Hill. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh no! What's yours? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her. Now we're starting to see how this true? narrative has been structured. Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I and then I got screwed over. I really needed a so I made a bad decision. So you're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Oh, no. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't Damn. know what you did to her, but you're going to be sorry. Damn. What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're <laughs> working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your <laughs> hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Damn. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? <laughs> My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. <laughs> I told you he was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and it appeared back in his hand. <laughs> oh, and then it vanished again? You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. Damn. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Oh. I'm the one who's going to take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's going to take care of us? We'll be all alone. <laughs> You're two bad little children. I'm Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchie. She'd be so sick. Sometimes we... Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. It's just in the Spudfather666. Six, six, six. <laughs> Join the party. Okay. All right. So now we know. Do we though? Yeah, dude, wait, go back in there. Okay. Grab that little tiny hammer off the floor. You never know. You never know. I don't really want to do that. So let's get the lay of the land now. Lay of the land! Lay of the land! Land of the lost! Land of the lost. What's happening? I think you're just like behind that thing. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> Oh look, it's my prince charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more or do you just want some ice for your head? Roast. Damn. You just ash your cigarette in her ashtray? Yeah. think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. Damn. She is mad at you. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. <laughs> you have a lot of explaining to do. Ooh, me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up here. Yes. 
Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Oh, I see. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. She's smoking <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks like only to protect the children. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. We... <sighs> Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Damn. Okay. I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Come on. We're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Man, TM. do you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I implied he was. I love how real man he's trying to keep trust it. You. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that, but I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't have a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, <laughs> Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over you? I would if... Right. <laughs> I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back <laughs> when you're willing to... <laughs> hey, I'm ready to... I work for... Right. Listen. Manny... So... Uh, okay, so there's... I think it's safe to say... you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Mar Exposition! Go back. The game just freeze? Oh, go back to the other room. It won't let me. Oh, there we go. Go. I, I think there's something else to do in here. It's empty. Right, so do you have an Try messing around with her ashtray, maybe. Hey, about red. I listen. Hey, red. I listen. Try and use the ashtray specifically. Right now, okay? It's kind of hard because it's. Hey, yeah, I know. I it's like right next to her. Talking. Hey, I yeah, every time I try it. Isn't helping right now, okay? I swear, like, like, remember when you first smoked in the ashtray? Yeah. That's what you gotta do. Do I have cigarettes? No, I think it's just like he does it when it's time. I think right now all you have is this tiny hammer. Hey, about ready. I right. Listen, man. See if you can just like kind of rotate a little, right kind of get Sir, in the zone where he'll look at it. Oh, man. There you go. Okay, now what? Uh... So look, so he turns it. Yeah. Do that again. She turned it back. Yeah, do that again. I swear there's something with this ashtray. I can't do anything though. She just turns it back. Try it one more time. I swear. Ow! Oh! She tossed him in the trash. On this cruel island. So now we have her stockings. Hell yeah. Which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not good. All right, now I have these stockings. Yeah, bam. Sir, do you I'm I put you. Well, 
we got a lot to take in. This yeah. So we, we have a lot going on. I'm do. very, I'm like Manny right now, scratching the back of my neck, not really knowing what to look at. We're back, baby. We're back in the story in a big way. We are back. But next time on Beard Bros, we're going to tackle it even more. We're going to take this guy's headphones off and figure out why he smokes out of the front of his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Question of the day uh, What's the teeniest item you've ever owned in the game? Yeah. Smallest item. Uh, at I, this point, the hammer. J mine's Joltik from Pokemon. That's a small fucking spider. Great. Later, man. Later, man. <laughs>